Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would sit down and share with you the best skincare products that I used in 2021. Some of them were new to me and others that had always been staples in my routine. I've got a mixture of drugstore and high-end and I've got a little bit in every single category from skincare, hair care, body care, etc. I've got a lot of products in front of me, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. In order to do this in the simplest way, I'm going to follow the natural way I would do my skincare routine, so starting off by cleansers, moving on to serums, moisturizers, etc. The first product I want to share with you is this product by Bioderma. It is the Sensibio H2O Micellar Water. This is a makeup remover and if you know me, you know I love to double cleanse. So typically I would go with an oil cleanser or a cleansing balm before I go in with a foaming cleanser. But occasionally I do like to use something like this, especially when I'm trying a new first cleanser and that doesn't work really well with waterproof mascara or eyeliner this does the job it is so good at removing makeup and doesn't leave any residue on the face you can use it and not wash your face afterwards however i would suggest to wash your face uh, so as i said it doesn't leave any residue also what i love about it is that it doesn't sting the eyes I've gotten this in my eyes so many times trying to remove waterproof eyeliner and this has never ever irritated my eyes even though my eyes are very very sensitive. So this is a staple in my routine. I always have it at home. Another thing I want to add about this product is that I know it is pricier than the typical micellar water you'd get at the drugstore like the one from Garnier and Nivea has a good one. These two are good. This is still slightly better. You know that stubborn mascara by the lash line that is very difficult to remove? This will remove it so well. I tried the Garnier one and it didn't work as well as this. And after applying so much of it, I felt like it kind of irritated my eye a little bit. This one doesn't do any of that at all. It doesn't dry out the skin. A little bit goes such a long way. As I said, especially if you use a first cleanser that is oil-based, and usually I only purchase this at a 50% discount. It regularly goes on a 50% off. So that's when I purchase it. I love the packaging. I love the pump and you get 500 ml in this bottle. Moving on to the first cleansers. And the first one I want to mention is this one by the Inky List, the Oat Cleansing Balm. I have a full review on this. I think it was one of the first, uh, if not the first, video I posted on YouTube. I do like it a lot. I did say in my video that it had some type of uh, grainy feeling. It almost felt like I could feel the oat powder in it, but that kind of disappeared as I used it more. And yeah, it's not the best on the market, but for the price and the amount of product you get, it is a great one and it is one that I would definitely purchase again. Another cleansing balm from the drugstore that was amazing this year is this one by e.l.f. It is the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is an amazing cleansing balm. I have a full review on it as well. I use it up completely. My only disadvantage, I would say, with this product is that you don't get a lot of product and it's not the cheapest. I mean, it's quite affordable. It's like 10 bucks or 12 bucks at least where I live. I know prices are different around the world, but um, yeah, you don't get a lot of product, but if you don't go through cleansing balms so quickly, like I do, this might be very cost effective for you. It is a great one. I like this a little bit more than the Inky List one because I found this to be a lot lighter. The one by the Inky List is a little bit thick. And if you have oily skin, you might feel like it's too thick for you. The only cleansing oil that I'm going to mention in this video is this one by Medicaid. This is the Lipid Balance Cleansing Oil. Again, this is a great one. It is fragranced, so if you don't like fragrance, you're not going to like this. But it is so effective at removing makeup. Uh, it's more pricey, but I would say that cleansing oils last a little bit longer than cleansing balms. So in the long term, they are more cost effective. Yeah, honestly, I have nothing to say about this product other than it's a great one. 
Let's move on to second cleansers. And these are typically foaming cleansers or what I would go in with early in the morning. Let's say if I don't have any sunscreen or any makeup and these would be enough on their own or at night after I have used a cleansing balm or an oil. The first one I want to talk about is by the brand Eustrin. This is their hydrating gentle, the gentle hydrating foaming cleanser. This is exactly what it's called. It is gentle, it is hydrating, but also foaming. And this combination is very difficult to get. Usually the ones that give you the satisfaction from foaming are a little bit drying. This one isn't drying at all, at least to my skin. I would say I've got normal skin and it is super gentle, fragrance free. So yeah, super affordable, less than 10 bucks. You get 237 ml. It is a really nice cleanser. I purchased mine off of iHerb, but I wasn't able to find it on iHerb. They do have a new Eucerin uh, cleanser, so I'm thinking maybe it is discontinued. Maybe it's not. I don't know, but it's no longer sold on iHerb. What's so funny is that this category is mainly a drugstore, and that is amazing because that says that skincare companies at the drugstore have definitely stepped up their game. And the last cleanser I want to mention is by the brand Avino and this is a newer introduction to me but I have been using it I would say for like around two months and I really really like it this is called the nourishing oat cleanser so this is not a foaming cleanser it is very similar to let's say the hydrating cleanser by CeraVe which I do like but I like this a little bit more it is so soothing and very cleansing but also very hydrating at the same time i love it i love using this alone in the morning and even after i use a balm i love to use it both times but specifically in the morning i find it to be refreshing cleansing but also quite hydrating there's nothing to complain about it is super affordable fragrance free it's got oats in it so that's going to help with your skin barrier uh, that's gonna soothe your skin all of that i think if you've had your eye on this and you're somebody who has compromised skin for whatever reason you're gonna really like this okay i forgot one it is not a daily cleanser but it's like more targeted cleansing and it is by the brand cerave this is the renewing salicylic acid cleanser i love this stuff in my opinion i think this is the best cleanser that cerave does I love this, it's got salicylic acid in it. It is non-drying, even though it's got salicylic acid. Usually those are drying, super affordable, will last you a long time. Now, I don't have oily skin, but sometimes I do feel a little bit of congestion around my pores, and that's when I like to use this. You can see, I've had this for, I would say around a year now. The color has changed a little bit. It wasn't this yellow, so I don't know if it's gone bad. It doesn't smell bad or anything, but yeah, I just love it. I don't use it on a daily basis, but when I use it, I'm always wowed by it. And I, it always gives me that clean, poor feeling. Okay, let's move on to hydrators. This is typically what I would go with straight after I cleanse my face, morning and night. And usually I look for something that's a little bit hydrating, but also uh, very lightweight. I don't want it to add a heavy layer to my skin. And for that purpose, I've got quite a few products. The first one is by the brand Dear Claire's, and this is the Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. This is so hydrating. It literally feels like water, but let's say if you would put just regular water on your face, it would hydrate you, but not soothe you. There's something soothing in this. I think it's Santella Asiatica, if I'm not mistaken. I can definitely feel that supple hydration and it is vegan, it's essential oil free. I think they sell it in a fragrance version. I have never tried that one, but yeah, it's deeply moisturizing and it's unfragranced as I already mentioned. Quite affordable for the amount you get. This is my second bottle this year. I really, really like this. Another product also that I loved this year is also by the same brand, Dear Claire's. It is this product right here. This is the Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. This feels like an oil, but it's oil free. It's so, uh, it's such a nice texture and you would think it's got oil in it, but no, it's very similar to like fatty water. 
it is such a nice quite liquidy as well you can see that just immediately dropped it absorbs super quickly you don't feel it on your skin once it's absorbed i really really like it some of you when i said hydrator you probably thought of hyaluronic acid for the longest time ever i haven't been the biggest fan of hyaluronic acid serums i do like the one by Haralabo. i do also like the one by the inculus i do like some but not all i don't like hyaluronic acid that feels thick and heavy like the one by the ordinary i don't like that one at all this one is also by desium but it's by the brand hyalamide this is such an amazing hyaluronic acid serum I don't know why nobody talks about this it is low molecular hyaluronic acid multi-depth rehydration booster this is such a good serum this is the type of product that would make you fall in love with hyaluronic acid if that makes sense I love this I think it's so uh, underrated I don't see anybody talk about it and I am so excited to try more from this brand because I do think they do have great potential also the price point isn't that bad it's right in between Nyad and the ordinary another product also under the Desim umbrella but by the brand Nyad is the modulating glucosides now this is I think this is a serum that is directed towards very red skin or people suffering from rosacea or super sensitive skin i don't suffer from that but since i'm always trying new skincare sometimes some skincare products do inflame my skin or turn it very red and each time that happened i was trying which product i was trying a toner by the brand scientia and suddenly i don't know what happened to my skin it turned all red literally like somebody just slapped me a few times and i had never experienced anything like that with my skin especially on my face i immediately went in with this because i had heard that this is great at soothing the skin and this did such a good job i don't know what kind of magic this has but it's such a good serum and generally i do use it now from time to time just to soothe my skin to give it a little bit of support and this works like wonders it it has this weird not weird but like very different texture it almost feels like if you were to melt butter mix it with a little bit of oil and put it in a bottle <laughs> this is exactly what it feels like yeah it's got probably a lot of lipids in it i'm not sure but yeah it's a great great product the final product in this category is also a new addition to my um, regimen but it's so good and i thought i should include it in this video it is also by avino and it's the same line as the cleanser it's the calm and restore triple oat serum again super hydrating so soothing absorbs super quickly so if you want something that's hydrating soothing doesn't add an extra layer into your skincare this is an amazing option affordable i wouldn't say it's the most affordable i think it's around like 18 dollars so yeah the only thing about this is the pump not the pump the this thing the dropper it's kind of hard to get around it you need to figure out how to use it i wish it just came with a pump i did see a lot of people using the niot pump with this and it seemed to work fine yeah i really have an issue with avino's pumps like in all their packaging they really need to work on their pumps they just don't work I prefer something without it that would come just like with a squeezy tube or something like that rather than add a pump that's there and doing nothing but regardless the product itself is amazing the next product category I want to talk about I only have one product and that is vitamin C now I didn't try a lot of vitamin C serums this year and honestly I don't know why even though I do have a lot in my collection I just didn't happen to use them but the one that shocked me and honestly honestly guys when I got this I never thought that this would be one of my favorite products I really th always thought of this brand that it was gimmicky and their products don't really work I'm getting ahead of myself but I'm talking about the glow recipe pineapple C serum bright serum I got this in initially in the blemish edit from caught beauty but then after I finished the first bottle I purchased a second one this is such a great serum now 
I think this has uh, derivatives of vitamin C and not really ascorbic acid. Now I can't speak on how well this does when it comes to let's say melasma or anything like that, pigmentation that you have in your skin, because I don't suffer from that. But what I can speak on is the glow this gives you in the morning. And it's called the Bright Serum. It makes your face so bright. And I really like the texture. I will show you what it looks like. It feels almost like uh, honey. The texture is very, very different from anything I've tried before. It feels like honey, but it's not as sticky. So the minute you rub it into your skin, it gets absorbed super quickly, and then you don't feel it on your skin. It's a little bit thicker than a typical serum. It absorbs super quickly. You need just like a full dropper for the entire face. This is how I use it. And yeah. I love it. It makes my skin so bright in the morning. I had never experienced anything like this in the past. And I am sorry to Glow Recipe for not thinking that they have good products. Honestly, I always thought they were a little bit gimmicky because of the packaging and the pineapple and the watermelon. And you know what I mean? I always thought that their products are geared towards maybe younger audience, teenagers like that. But yeah, I am very impressed with this product and I'm looking forward to try more from the brand. Let's move on to moisturizers, shall we? I've got only two, and again, from the drugstore. This is amazing. Honestly, this was not intentional. And yeah, it just tells you that skincare at the drugstore is really good. The first one I want to talk about is by the brand Eucerin. I did a full review on this. It is the Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream. This is such an amazing face cream. This has Q10 in it. It is supposed to be uh, helpful when it comes to like the depth of wrinkles. It's supposed to improve that. I can't speak to that, honestly. I just love how moisturizing it is, how bright it makes my skin. It absorbs quite quickly. It is a little bit on the thick side. So I would say if you've got normal to dry skin, you will really like this. But if you've got oily skin, this might be a little too thick for you. And in this case, I'm going to recommend the next product and it is by the brand, The Inkylist. This is the vitamin B, C and E moisturizer. This is so affordable. I think this is like $5 if I'm not mistaken you get 50 ml of product it is just a simple really nice fast absorbing lightweight moisturizer sometimes when you have all these products in your skincare you don't really need a moisturizer to do more than just moisturize your skin and if you're that kind of person this is great for that i was also using it as a hand cream and it was amazing too this next category was the most difficult category for me to to decide on honestly i it's sunscreen so if you know me you know i love sunscreen and i'm addicted to trying all the ones on the market and this year i tried so many and honestly i like so many for different reasons or for different times throughout the year i just love sunscreen okay and it was so hard to choose like my favorite so I have three and I tried to do it in a fair way, considering the price, considering the protection it gives, how it feels, all of that. With that being said, it doesn't mean that other sunscreens that I gave great reviews aren't good. They just didn't make it to, the, to this list. I wanted to put an affordable option here because I know I try a lot of high-end sunscreens and if you are using sunscreen, on a regular basis you're gonna go through it super quickly and i know not everybody has the money to spend on sunscreen every single month to spend let's say 50 to 60 pounds i know not everybody can do that so i wanted to mention an affordable option and that is the banana boat ultra protect faces again i have a full review on this product it is spf 50 water resistant zero white cast hypoallergenic if that means anything to you it's oil free and it is sun tested sun proven it is a hundred percent chemical sunscreen if you don't like chemical sunscreens this is not for you but you guys you get 88 ml which is a lot more than the typical amount you'd get from a sunscreen 
it is just like three or four dollars maybe sometimes you get it for five dollars i purchased the one that i'm holding right now for three dollars three dollars you guys i don't think you can get any sunscreen that is as affordable as this especially a sunscreen that is made for the face it's just so good high protection water resistant the only thing i would say don't put it so close to your eyes as it might seep in and burn a little also another thing to consider if you are super oily by the end of the day this might make you look a little bit oilier but if you powder your face you should be fine for the price and all the features that you get not features what am i trying to say like all like what i just mentioned water resistant pretty high protection all of that it is the best on the market honestly for the price i couldn't find anything more affordable yet better than this for this price so yeah highly recommend i know it's not available everywhere but here in the middle east if you are located here this is available in most drugstores now on the flip side i have a sunscreen that is so much more expensive and it is by murad it is the city skin age defense bra spectrum spf 50. this is a beautiful 100 percent mineral sunscreen spf 50 minimal white cast but since it's 100 percent mineral it is going to have a little bit of white cast I personally just love it. I'll show you what it looks like. It has a little bit of a peachy tint, but you can see the white cast is quite minimal and the tint is there to mask it even further. But yeah, I did see some comments that on deeper skin tone, it might show a little bit of a white cast. So just bear that in mind. What I love about it is how it feels on the skin. With this product, I feel like I don't need to moisturize. I will just go in with it without a moisturizer and this will do both it will give me protection but also moisturize my skin cut down the time i need to do my skincare in the morning and i love that it is pricey but i love it the next product is also a pricey one but i have been so impressed with the amount of times i end up reaching for the sunscreen it is by the brand ultraviolet it's the clean screen spf 30. By the way, I have a full review on all these three sunscreens. You can check it out on my channel if you want to know more. But this is a hybrid sunscreen, so it's got mineral and chemical filters. It is not available in the US because it uses new generation filters, but it's so good. I love it. I have used the whole bottle and I haven't had this for a long time. It is so lightweight and honestly, very minimal cast. It's non irritating to the eyes. Again, it has also a little bit of a peachy tint that disappears completely once you rub it in. Not sure what it's going to look like on deeper skin tones, but I would expect maybe a slight um, white cast, but not so much. It is so good, so lightweight, absorbs super quickly. It feels like you just put lotion on your skin. It doesn't feel like sunscreen. The only downside to it, in my opinion, actually two. One is it's SPF 30 only, not 50 also it's not water resistant so this is not going to be a sunscreen i'm gonna reach for in the summer but for winter it is amazing i just cannot put it down this is what i want to use every single day in the morning and the best part about it is that when i put it on and let's say i'm not wearing makeup that day and i reach for it again to apply another layer it's always going on so nicely smoothly absorbs quickly it doesn't build up and if you've tried to reapply sunscreen you know what I'm talking about. The buildup is there. You can definitely feel it. But with this, I don't feel anything. I love it. I think this was one of the best discoveries for me in 2021. Let's move on to retinols. I've got only two to share with you. I didn't try so many this year, but the ones I'm going to share with you are good. The first one is by Inculus. It is the retinol serum. This is such a great introduction into retinols. The texture is amazing the price is right um, it's not irritating at all it absorbs super quickly so you there's no issue with that you can apply a nice moisturizer on top if you wanted to and i definitely saw a difference in my skin after i started using it the only reason i didn't purchase it again i did feel after a while it stopped doing anything so i felt like i needed maybe to step up my game 
and that is when I purchased the CeraVe Skin Renewing Retinol Serum. I know they have a different version of this as well, which I would like to try at some point, but this is the only one I've tried, and let me tell you, this definitely changed the quality of my skin. I was feeling that my skin was getting a little bit sensitive, maybe because of all the products that I was trying, but you know, they say that retinol does make your skin sensitive. But after I started using this, I felt like this actually made my skin more resilient and more tolerant. And I don't know if it's just in my head, but I really like this. I definitely felt like my skin looked more youthful and brighter as I continued using this. I don't use it every night. I use it, I think, twice a week, and it has lasted me quite a while. You only need one pump is enough for your entire face. I highly recommend, honestly, I recommend both this one and the Inky List one. It's all going to depend on what's available in your country. I know CeraVe, this line from CeraVe is not available where I live. So maybe the Inky List is more accessible to some people and maybe others CeraVe is more accessible. Whichever one you choose and if it's going to be your first retinal serum, I think it's going to be a good choice. Let's talk about eye creams. I've got two to share with you. Also one by the Inky List. The Inky List has some really good products and it is a retinol eye cream. This is such a good eye cream. I have heard mixed reviews about this product. Some people say it irritated the, the eye area. I have used it. I definitely saw a difference in the eye area. I'm not sure about wrinkles, but it just made it look more youthful. And yeah, it's not just moisturizing. It did something a little bit more than that, but I couldn't pinpoint what it was. Regardless, I continue to reach for this. I always look fresh in the morning when I use it at night. So yeah, it is doing something. Not sure if it's going to be revolutionary, but it is a good one. It's not like just moisturizing. It does add a little bit of extra something. Another eye cream that's not just moisturizing, but actually does something for the eye area is this one by Filorga. It is the Optum Eyes Eye Contour Cream. This is so good. I don't see much talk about Filorga on YouTube, but it's quite popular here in the Middle East and I know in other European countries. It's a very popular brand and I think actually Filorga does also like injectables, like fillers, not just skincare. And yeah, this is I think their best seller. I purchased this off of a recommendation from my sister's friend and oh my god this changed the area around my eyes. I think if you're somebody that doesn't suffer from anything around your eyes, probably you're not going to appreciate any difference. But if you've got wrinkles, hollowness, uh, what else? Dark circles, basically I have all of these. This is going to be a game changer. Uh, again, I don't know what this does. It's got a lot of like trademarked ingredients and all of that, but it does something for the eye area. It kind of lifts it. It just makes it look fresher, less puffy, less hollow. It just makes it look healthier. I love this. And if I were to spend money on an eye cream, this is going to be it. I have finished the entire bottle and I'm kind of sad about it, but it's definitely on my rebuy list. The final category for the face and the final product for the face, I feel like this video is so long, is by The Ordinary and it's the Salicylic Acid 2% Face Mask. It's a salicylic acid face mask, but what I love about it first is the price. So affordable, you get a decent amount and it is quite effective at unclogging pores, helping with acne, getting that congestion taken care of, and another thing, it is so sensitive skin friendly. I have used so many pore unclogging masks, like the Glam Glow and so many different ones. They're good, but they're very skin sensitizing. My skin always looked a little bit red after I used them and that it could use a little bit of hydration. But with this, it kept my skin hydrated, but it also made it feel so refreshed. So yeah, I think the formulation is amazing. It is sensitive skin friendly and it's at a great price point. Next product category is going to be hair products. Now, you might have heard me in other videos saying that my hair hasn't been at its best quality and I still want to go with that because as you can see, it's a little bit frizzy 
And trust me, I have tried everything to tackle down the frizz and nothing has seemed to work. And this frizziness only came about after the keratin treatment um, effects started to wear off. I hated that treatment. I never want to do it again. It destroyed my hair. I feel like the quality of my hair has changed so much afterwards. Now I'm just trying to grow it out and hopefully trim it away and never have to deal with that again. But I want to share with you products that have helped me throughout the years and also this year tackle down all these issues. The first product I'm going to mention is not going to be a surprise to a lot of you and it is by Olaplex. It's the Hair Perfector number no. 3. This is such an amazing hair mask. Honestly, I definitely see a difference in the quality of my hair after I use this, but I'm not sure if the effect lasts a long time. I feel like this is going to be a product. If you've got damaged hair, you're going to be needing to use it often to see that effect. So let's say you can't use it for two months and then just call it a day and expect your hair to feel the same. No, it's going to be like a continuous use but it's great it does make your hair feel stronger thicker less frizzy if you've got curls it will make your curls more defined i really like this product and i think people rave about it for a reason the next products i will mention are by briogeo i've got quite a few and briogeo has a lot of hits and misses in my opinion with my hair type but the hits are like staples in my routine and the misses are products that i don't want to see again the ones i will mention are products that i have used for many years and i still reach for them even though i have tried literally everything on the market the first one is the scalp revival coconut charcoal plus coconut micro exfoliating shampoo this is a travel size that we got in the caught beauty advent calendar but i do have the full tub it's in my shower this is such an amazing scalp exfoliating shampoo don't use it all over your hair because it will dry it out but if you feel like your scalp is congested or it's got a lot of built-up product in it this is amazing. I love it. I love how it smells. It smells minty, very refreshing. Probably not the best for super sensitive scalps, but yeah, I love it. I always reach for it. And it's a product I have repurchased so many times. The next one is the Riogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And this is exactly what it's called. It is a deep conditioning mask. Unlike the Hair Perfector, where I feel that this repairs the hair, this one hydrates and moisturizes on a very deep level. So I like to use actually both of these. I will say when I had the keratin treatment freshly done, this was way too heavy for my hair. It was making my hair very oily super quickly, so I kind of stopped using it. But when the effects wore off, I went straight back to this. I love this. Sometimes I use it as a conditioner. Sometimes I use it overnight. It is really deeply moisturizing. I think it is their best seller for a reason. It works for a lot of people. The final product from Briogeo that I love and continuously repurchase is their Farewell Frizz Blow Dry and Heat Protectant Cream. I'm almost through with this bottle. I have so many heat protectants, but this just absorbs into my hair. I don't feel it on my hair. I don't feel like it's coating my hair and yeah it doesn't leave my hair a little bit crunchy i have tried some really expensive ones and i have an issue i always feel like they leave some type of a film or some residue on my hair but this one doesn't and when i don't use it i definitely feel that my hair is a lot frizzier than when i use it so yeah the fact that i keep reaching for it tells me a lot that i like it the final hair care product and a really good discovery in 2021 is by also the inky list now you know they have come out with a really large line for the hair but the one that i like the most is this product it's the hyaluronic acid hydrating hair treatment this is literally like hyaluronic acid serum it literally looks like hyaluronic acid it's like this gel texture absorbs super quickly i use it on damp hair it's supposed to hydrate your hair get rid of frizziness it doesn't get rid of it 100 but i do see a difference when i use it 
I really enjoy using it. I would say one thing though, I think it's a bit pricey for the amount you get. It's quite small to use on hair, especially if you've got thick, long hair. You will run through this super quickly and it's not like the cheapest product in their line. They do, I feel like their skincare is a lot cheaper than their hair care. But regardless, it's a good product. And I think it's quite innovative. I haven't seen any like hyaluronic acid for the hair before. Let's talk about hands because to be real, everybody is suffering from their hands being dry, especially with the amount of washing we're doing. The best, in my opinion, that I have tried so far, and I did try in 2021, is the Eucerin Advanced Repair Hand Cream. This is affordable. It is not super lightweight, not super thick. It absorbs quickly but it does leave a little bit of a slippery feeling not sticky only slippery i love it honestly it's just so good it's kind of soothing as well so if your hands feel sore this is a great option but if you feel that most hand creams don't work for you i've got something else this guy right here where has this been all my life this is by the brand called The Chemistry Brand. It is a Decium brand. So again, sister brand to The Ordinary that nobody talks about on YouTube. And this is called a big tub of hyaluronic acid, the hyaluronic concentrate. It's literally just hyaluronic acid, but you get this giant tub for quite an affordable price. You can use it all over from your face to all your body, your hands, your feet, wherever you want. It is so hydrating. It's got the same texture as hand sanitizer, but without the alcohol, it absorbs super quickly. So what I typically do, I would use the teeny tiniest bit of this before I apply my hand cream and go over it with my hand cream and my hands feel good. Trust me, try this trick if your hands are so dry. Hopefully it will help you because it has helped me so much. I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. Also, I love the pump on this. See, very similar to hand sanitizer. Also with the way it absorbs and disappears, very similar to it as well. Such a good product, you can use it all over your body. I have tried it all over my body just before uh, moisturizing it and it has worked wonders my skin in the morning felt so smooth so hydrated my elbows felt amazing so yeah such a good product for such a great price final category i've got two more products to share with you it's going to be body care and i've got two moisturizers the first one is by Eucerin. it's the daily hydration lotion this is in my opinion the best daily hydrating lotion <laughs> exactly what it's called it is super lightweight absorbs super quickly you get an amazing amount 500 ml or 16.9 fluid ounces it is fragrance free so affordable less than ten dollars it's got amazing pump the pump on this is amazing avino take notes please i wish avino would have the same pump it is such a great body moisturizer honestly you guys it is so lightweight i use it throughout the year summer winter absorbs quickly you don't have to wait like five minutes before you can put on your clothes no less than a minute by the time you're done with your entire body the upper body is already dry and by the time you put on your clothes your whole body is dry but it does leave you with that silky soft feeling on the skin but if you are somebody who's super dry and want a little bit more moisture especially during winter I've got something else that's a little bit thicker. It is by Avino and it's the Skin Relief Moisture Repair. And this is exactly what it's called. It's Skin Relief Moisture Repair, all of that. This is a little bit much thicker than the one from Eucerin. Let me show you what it looks like. It is also fragrance free, but I would say this is amazing for very dry, crusty skin. Also quite thick but absorbs quickly again really nice i love the texture on this i love that it's thick heavily moisturizing without leaving a sticky residue and i do think that's quite difficult to find and the good thing about it is that it also dries quickly not as quickly as the one i just showed you but it does dry quickly considering the amount of moisture it offers i really like this product 
a little bit go such a long way. Honestly, Avino and Eustrin have such amazing body products. I think they are so underrated, not a lot of people talk about them. But honestly, you can find amazing products from these two brands, especially if you're suffering from compromised skin barrier. Those were all the products in today's video. I feel like I've been talking for hours and hours. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. I would love to know what product surprised you in 2021. What was your favorite? Leave a comment down below. I feel like I need to drink something warm to kind of soothe my throat because I've been talking so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked today's video. These are my favorite videos to watch. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for my future content, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye, guys.